Yes, you guys, how are you all doing today? Of course, with the sensational news surrounding Erling Haaland and our club's attempts to start conversations, start talks to potentially get the signing of the summer done. Well, I thought it was only right to analyse and look back at Haaland's season, look at all the goals that he's banged in and of course react to them so we can get a greater insight behind his season, his quality, his ability and what we could potentially expect for next season you guys. Of course I hope you enjoy, smash that like button, give me whatever likes you want. I'm just hoping you guys enjoy it today to be honest and obviously without wasting no more time. Oh alright nice little touch but my god you guys look at the space you get in Germany. The space in the Bundesliga like come on. In behind, oh that finish though, top bins. The power he gets from like literally no space at all. It's absolutely mad. In this right place, right time, nice little poach. His effort right there. You know, I, I want to see that type of scrappy goal being scored a bit more from you guys. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. Obviously, obviously a little bit of a deflection there, you guys. But you know th that clean strike with the ball. I mean, come on now. I mean, basically no back lift whatsoever. The power he can generate like that, I mean, it's got one of the most powerful shots in Europe, in my opinion. I mean, a legal goal. Ooh. <laughs> like, we just don't see goals like this scored in, in obviously the Prem, but this is the Norwegian national team, so what am I talking about? Okay, okay. Oh, a right, little bit of Jogger Benito there. All right. Oh, okay. That left foot though, coming through clutch again. Nice. I mean, with Holland, it's the, it's the timing, the runs. Obviously, it's not like he doesn't get offside, but that's one of the best things I like about him. It's a bit Cavani-esque. Like, I do see little bits of similarities between Holland and Cavani. I, I think when you're being compared to Cavani, I mean, you're, you're obviously doing sighting right at 20 years old. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Is it me or did the defender does back off then? Like he thought he was gonna hit the ball at him. Look, what's he doing? <laughs> Bundesliga tax boys. All right, all right. Oh, that's the goal right there, you guys. That is, we're reading, we're taking that back again. This is the goal that we don't score. This type of goal where, you know, we have the players who can put deliveries like this in, but then other than Kai Havertz, no one's doing anything in the air. This is the goal I miss from your Costas, your Drogba's. This, that's what I'm paying for Holland, essentially. All right, all right, all right. Oh, that game versus Sevilla, Mads, Mads, nice Hollands. Oh, that is a nice, clean, clean finish in the back of the net, you guys. Oh, that's what I'm here for. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, that first touch was dirty. Oi, oi. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I'm talking about. Like, don't, don't talk down on this techers, yeah? Like, this guy. It's very nice in the ball when he runs our opponents. And like, when you think about how we play as a team to you guys, like just put two and two together, yeah? When we're playing counter-attack against the big boys, it's been, been doing beautifully under Tuchel this season. Imagine having Haaland spearheading the counter-attack or being on the end of that transition move. I mean, ah, oh, okay, okay, all right, all right. Of course, you guys, it's, it's not just that powerful finishes. He's got that little bit of finesse as well. Plates, plates. Oh, oh, oh. That power though. I mean, again, it's another deflection. What am I talking about? Yep, yep. You know, in positions like that, he ain't doing no Timo Werner's. Or no Alvaro Morata's. Or no Fernando Torres's. I think. <laughs> I know I'm being a bit mean with that one, but. Yeah, I'm surprised even. Assisted there, but I guess, you know, he does his bit for the team too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that movement. Look at that. Yes, of course. Look, look, look. Look at that, that movement from Holland then. Escapes his man, attacks the space. That's what you want to see, man. Oh, yes, yes. 
Yes, that's what I'm here for. Oh, that's a nice left foot. I'm gonna have like it's mad how we never had no left footers, and potentially we'd be having bear in the team right now. Um, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, bread and butter. Oh, that first touch was cold. Need to see that again, you guys. That's what he's very good at doing too. Like when the ball's coming to my pace, like this first touch to take the ball away, hit it into space, and just you know do what he does best. Drive the ball. Top quality, man. <laughs> okay. Like for a guy that's got like three star skills, he knows how to he knows how to use them. You know what I mean? That's it. That one two. And what's he doing? He's getting on the end of the moves he's making. Yeah. Um, the guy's 20 years old. I mean, for me, I think the hype's definitely there. Oh, we... <laughs> That's a rewind, you guys. Are you mad? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful goal. Wow. Wow, this entire frame stretching the control, the finesse. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah. You see them ones? You see these goals? You see that goal? Yeah. Like, how often have we been putting the ball across the goal and no one is strong enough or powerful enough to get the foot on it? With Haaland, those chances we create turn into goals. They turn into goals, you guys. Yes, yes. Like, I vividly remember Positions like this we get into when players are 1v1 with space or, you know, can't get at the end of these like cross balls in the box. You know, this is what we have to spend big bucks on. Big bucks, man. Yeah, yeah. Pace his man in. Of course, of course, man. He can do a bit of both, you know. You know, it's meant to take the short, meant to start up his teammate. Yes, that first touch again. That's what he's amazing at doing. Look, every time comes to that ball comes into my pace and the perfect first touch and I hit it away and get the shot on goal. Yeah, gets the frame in front of the ball, boom. Yes, of course he's there. And of course, bread and butter, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Against Man City, great goal. We're seeing that little, no, I'm not going to call it playmaking, but obviously, you know, when guys are running off him, you can find them. When we've got players like Pulisic down the left or Werner, Werner could be absolutely uh, in love with having Hordens. Hordens taking all the attention away off him, creating even more space for him. If we can get this deal done, you guys, I feel like this completes the team, to be honest. Of course, it'd be interesting to see how he adapts to the Prem. I mean, come on, though. Just some of the opportunities, the goals he scores. Look at the, some of the space. I mean, of course, you know, let's not take anything away from his ability and skill, but you just don't see this in the Prem. And to be honest, I'm kind of okay with that. Like, I do think at times, man, Prem football can just be a bit too, too fast for no reason, too defensive. You know what I mean? Like, we spend all this money on big players and... Don't let these guys ball out because they've got systems they're playing in that bare negative. Gets a bit annoying. Of course, of course. So I'm guessing if he signs, he's taking pens, right? He's gonna if we if we got him, there's gonna be clauses in that contract. But again, what am I saying? Look at him there. That is the type of finish we've been wasteful of, disgracefully wasteful of flat like, this season. Finds his teammates in the box, boom. That left foot, man, is, is two chords. Again, again. Loses his man on the far post. The timing, like, his long ass legs too. Like, he just is hungry for goals. Um, Yeah. That game versus Sevilla was one of the best games from a player in the Champions League this season, like, individually. Great finish. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, play the pass. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Yes, when he gets his body in front of that ball, man. 
but he runs too. <laughs> oh shit. Is that a right foot finish? That's, that's the first one I've seen in this entire comp so far. But, but he can do it, but he can do it. All right, all right, all right. Oh, oh. Boom, that left foot, man. You get the ball in that angle, finishes it every time. Oh, oh, okay. That was a nice, nice little compose finish right there. Disguise the keeper there, very nice. Damn, I mean, look, it's open. Hey, listen, teams like to attack. They don't like to just sit back and play. We defend, you attack, you attack, we defend. Oh, okay, I'm just gapping on right there. Boom, that finish shot. That's what I'm saying for Norway. Like, you know, they play a different system to Dortmund and he's still, I mean, the record speaks for itself. Another goal against Bayern Munich. That's why I like he's not scoring against the big team to score in the big games, you know? I mean, this Champions League record's on rule. I mean, severe. I mean, he just tore them apart, to be honest. <laughs> now, who scored that goal, though? Oi, shit, that was a mad goal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! <laughs> you know what it is, yeah? You know what it is? Bro, those... those Powerful shots from Drogba. Like, I haven't seen anyone score that goal since maybe Costa, but not to that level. But Horn, he brings back them vibes, man. He brings those vibes back. You know what I mean? Like, getting your body in front of the defender, holding them or pushing them away like nothing. He just pushed away with Makano like absolutely nothing, then. Are you mad? Flipping hell. <laughs> What's this? Boom, <laughs> this defending. What's this guy on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> Good lords, man. But I feel that's the type of fear he brings, but I'm, I'm, I'm kind of gassing it a bit. But. <laughs> Link! Wow. Mad finishes, man. Oh. oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Like, you just. When he's in front of the ball, like in front of his man, that's it. That's it, man. You can't do anything. Oh, the power, the power. Look at the strength. <laughs> yes. It's so mad how like as fans, like we took these types of goals for granted. Oh, yes, yes. This is what I mean. I, I'm just getting these little drop with flashbacks. Like, I just can't help it now. Played, played. So why did the guy not pass back to him then? <sighs> like, he hits the ball so clean. Obviously, I think he's offside there. But he hits that ball so clean that it makes it hard for keepers to do anything, to be honest. That means pure, pure striking technique. Yes, yes, another goal versus Bayern. I mean, of course it is. Like, <laughs> like you just know that too cool. We'll have plans for this guy for next season. Um, you know, as fans, if we can get him, it would be exciting to see how we're going to evolve tactically as a team. But, I mean, there you guys have it, man. I mean, this was his 2021 season. We saw every type of goal he scored, his involvement for the team. The way he was setting up his teammates as well and just a pure striking class, masterclass from him. Um, please, please, you gave us the Champions League. We ask one more thing, one more thing. Give us Erling Haaland. Give us Erling Haaland. Like, <laughs> I'm being very greedy right now. You know what I mean? I feel like I've used up all my, uh, all my prayers for the season already, you guys. But... I mean, there you have it right now. That was the reaction to the Unicorn season. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment below what you felt as well. And on that note, I'm Nini FC. This is Blue Lines TV. I'll catch you guys later with some more videos. Cool.